Hey, welcome to Ground Control. I'm going to show you a flight video of this Isheen Mini Cessna. Show you what a great flying plane this is and why I chose this airframe for a brushless conversion. So, now that this plane has got a brushless power system on it and plenty of power, you'll get to see why I chose this airframe. It's absolutely fantastic. All the components that I used in this project will be listed in the show notes. Here's the flight video. Launching. I wanted to show you how well behaved that is. You see how nice that takes off? But um, this thing flies like a sport cub now. Really doesn't have much drag to it at all. And just like about every bush plane I have flown, it does require quite a bit of rudder for nice coordinated turns. But I just, you know, since I readjusted these aileron extensions, I have not seen a single bad behavior out of this plane. Pretty good slow flight capability considering I have very, very little wind out here right now. I would say it's about two two to three mile per hour wind, that's it. That's as good as it gets here. That's pretty good, considering it doesn't have flaps or anything on it. But, uh, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, that is, that is pretty darn good. Check that out. I mean, that is a very well-behaved little mini Cessna. I am, I'm pretty impressed with it as a, as a brushless micro. Got pretty good power. Got to put in quite a bit of rudder for coordinated turns. It's got pretty good slow flight capability for the type of wing that it has. What do you guys think of that? I mean, that is, that is very well behaved. This is the reason that I say going forward, I don't want to convert anything that's got uh, less than a 500 millimeter wingspan. It seems to be... You know, I think that's the minimum I like to see for these 2S brushless conversions because the, you know, the bigger the plane is, and even though it's a, it's a small micro, but the bigger the plane is, you know, the easier it is to get it flying so well. And it, and it handles, I think that it handles, if you look at the way it flies, I think it handles like a bigger plane. You know, it's a, I think it's a hundred, I think my all up weight is 113.2 grams. Look at that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good slow flight. Look at the stall turn. Not a bad stall turn. Let's try another one. Not too bad. Not too bad on stall turns, and it's got a pretty small rudder. <laughs> but uh, I'm pretty happy with the results. The only thing I'm not happy with is uh, the roll rate right now. It's very lethargic. But it's a very, very stable plane. Um, I knew this airframe was going to be another stable airframe, just like the Mini P-47. It's a phenomenal flying little micro warbird now on 2S brushless power. This plane has the exact same power system in it that the Mini P-47 has. And um, I'm just ecstatic as how well these two projects have turned out and how stable 
these planes are. Now I've got it in high gain mode on the gyro on this, but this gyro does not do um, auto leveling. This gyro just does, got somebody coming again, uh, this gyro just does wind correction. It doesn't do uh, auto leveling. And this plane is really handling exceptionally well. All right, wait for our traffic to get through. Yay. Ooh, almost ran out of the elevator. <laughs> but, uh, isn't that great? Really, really good airframe, guys. If you're looking for a micro to, to convert, uh, the Mini P47 is an excellent airframe, excellent little warbird for brushless, uh, 2S brushless conversion. And this Mini Cessna is a fantastic airframe for a 2S brushless conversion if you're looking to, for a micro brushless bush plane. Just outstanding. Yeah, it has no bad behaviors that I can see whatsoever. Isn't that, isn't that cool? Okay, so I'm starting to get my haptic. There we go. So let's come back down here before we get any more traffic. Coming into a crosswind, but the gyro should be able to counteract that. Bring it in for a landing on the main lane. Here we come. Load it in. Oop, there we go. Let's try that again. Let's see if we can get out of this rutted area over here and get in the center and uh, and land it really nice and sweet. All right, launching. All right, let's come back around. Get it in the center of the lane. Don't have any traffic coming. Wind is shifting on me. Look at that. Look at that. I just cut the throttle a couple feet off the ground. It glides right in. Nice and sweet. <laughs> I'm really I'm really happy with the way this project turned out. I've just got to get that roll rate better and I will be completely happy with this plane. It's awesome. It's just awesome. Yeah, I've got maximum movement on my rudder. I wish I had I don't know. I may have to extend that rudder a little bit. We'll see. But anyway, um, I, I'm having a blast with this little plane out here. I'm going to put some more battery packs to it. I'm real happy with the way the um, Crossover RX 3207G micro receiver, uh, the SR3X gyro, I'm really happy with the way it counteracts the wind. It doesn't do self-leveling, but it does counteract the wind. It's a full six-channel receiver, seven channels, counting the gyro modes. You have high gain, low gain, and full manual mode, which is awesome. As a built-in brushless ESC, you can use it as a 2S 7-amp ESC or a 3S 5-amp ESC. So it's a very, very versatile little micro receiver. I will have links to everything in the show notes. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the air.